A Pulaski County man working to restore a centuries old cemetery. The graveyard is located in the McCalmick community just outside the North Little Rock City limits. Fox 16 Charmaine Nero talking to that man today and explains why he's working overtime to get the cemetery placed on the historic register. Charmaine. Donna, Kevin, yes, John Sisk has family from the McElmont community and some of them buried right there in the Hickman New Dora Cemetery. While he spent years trying to get the cemetery restored, he says it's a job that's just way too big for one person. The families out here who still have plots. Weeds and overgrown grass around gravestones. 1973. At the Hickman New Dora Cemetery on the outskirts of the McElmont community in Pulaski County. I came out here because I wanted just to visit the gravesite or whatnot, see the tombstone, and just kind of found what I found when I came out here. The cemetery looks forgotten, with graves marked and unmarked hidden within a row of trees. Once you get past this front part, this probably goes back there, at least the football field or more. John Sisk, who has several ancestors buried here, says he's working to restore the graveyard back to its old self. Been at a standstill just trying to figure out more and who owns the property and trying to bypass that now by going through the Arkansas Department of Heritage to see if we can just label it as a national historic site. In order for it to be considered, a representative from the Arkansas Historic Preservation Program tells me at least 51 of the markers must be 50 years or older, something Sisk says he's seen firsthand. There's people that were buried here in the early to mid 1800s, you know, once you go back to the very back. Now he's pleading for any help in getting his family and county countless others buried on these grounds, the proper care and final resting place they deserve. It's time that we as people, and not only as people, but just as a society do better, you know, with historic preservation and making sure that things of the old aren't forgotten. SIS says there are pastors, military vets, and former slaves buried in this cemetery. A representative from the Arkansas Historic Preservation Program tells me they are expected to come and tour that graveyard in the upcoming days to see if it may qualify to be registered as a historic site. Back to you.